move. No. Knocked over my camera. What? <laughs> Dude, you already got fed today. You're fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we're back for our second round in Pennsylvania after leaving New England. We did get rained out the first couple of days, and cabin fever was starting to set in for us. Two solid days of rain. First he just wants to go outside. It's like I've been in here for so long. <laughs> and Marshall's approach to keep from going store crazy was a bit more creative and childhood fulfilling than mine or Percy's. But luckily for us, this time around, nature decided to start blooming. Oh, those uh, little plants, I forgot the name of them. These are totally edible. At uh, the grocery store, these, $19 a pound. Yeah. Our first visit wasn't anything to write home about, considering the landscape was still barren. But luckily, the state showed us what it truly had to offer, starting with the streams. On the feet, it's like a refreshing cold, though. Marshall and I have learned that we flock to water, especially clear streams. So of course this campsite fulfilled a deep, therapeutic opportunity we didn't even know we needed. It also inspired us to get out on the e-bikes more, since they've barely been used this year. By the way, if you're interested in the bike rack contraption we have on this camp, check out our how-to video on how Marshall created it. We wanted to explore the area a bit more, and we sure are happy that we did. Hi. Right down the road, we met Jeff, who showed us an opportunity we never knew existed within Pennsylvania's National Forests. They have a land lease program that allows citizens to lease a lot with a cabin. Jeff told us that he purchased the cabin but was able to pay rent on the land at a very reasonable rate annually. Though the leases are very hard to come by now, it did pique our interest to know that this opportunity even existed. What do you think? And with that, our time in Pennsylvania had to come to an end. We absolutely love what the state had to offer, and we truly hope this won't be our last time here. One night of staying in Ohio, we decided to leave. We were at Jesse Owens State Park. Yep. Yeah. So we were at the Jesse Owens State Park Campground A, and it was nothing against the campground. It was actually really nice, well maintained. Um, it just, we had no service there, and Marshall needs service to be able to work and to make money. Um, we're not on a vacation. It's we have to be able to live while doing this and to live we need money and we need to work and all and, that stuff. And we could have went to town but the nearest town was, I don't know, it wasn't, uh, it didn't really support travelers I guess you could say. Yeah, it was not travel friendly. Looking at the, the map like it was literally a dead zone. It was crazy. We've also found that mountains so much better. Uh, Ohio it's, it's kind of flatter. Yeah, it's more rolling hills, and the water's not as clear. We were yeah. spoiled in Pennsylvania. Yeah. We miss Pennsylvania already. <laughs> so we decided to go back to our home state for a little bit, to Daniel Boone National Forest. We're going to stay at a little campground there, pay $15 a night, I think maybe for, what, three or four nights? Um, well, maybe two or three. We'll see. 
<laughs> so they have water there so we can kind of we can get water we can hopefully take some showers um, kind of reset a little bit have some service uh, Lexington's not terribly far away it's about an hour off and this campground it is still off-grid so there's no electrical water's good there though. that's good yeah there's some nice things So this is our campsite, campsite eight. So, I mean, I can still see some other campers, but it's really not that bad. And the bathrooms are like right there. It's great dispersed camping out in the woods, but it's also great to have a bathroom and a shower. This campground is a pretty nice one. Look at that. What's that sign say? Ooh, shower access. I'm very confused. Is the bathroom in the shower? Is there a bathroom in the shower? So up to this point, what is not shown is the frustrations that we had after moving from Ohio to Kentucky, uh, trying to find somewhere to park this camp. We originally were going to go to this really small campground that had these incredibly dispersed sites. Uh, we wouldn't really be able to see anyone else from our site. It would be $15 a night, but it was supposed to include water and bathrooms. When we got there, the water was not working. So we decided to leave because we're not paying $15 for a campground that does not have water. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to us to do that. After that, we tried to drive around and find a dispersed spot on our own that does not seem to exist at Daniel Boone National Forest. And after a few hours of driving around, calling people, Googling things, getting honked at by angry drivers, we decided to settle down at an actual campground that has all the amenities. There's a shower, bathroom, water. It's incredibly pretty here. Um, the campsites are still pretty dispersed. There's a bee. Okay. But we were getting really frustrated after having two days of bad luck on our side. We decided we just needed to recenter ourselves. We just needed something to kind of re-energize us. Hi. <laughs> How come he gets a stroller and I have to walk on my four legs? And I got diabetes. And I'm old. So one, what does it say? Not, not what I say, What's, read that question again. Okay, so one tile is equal to a fourth of a foot, right? Do you know what a fourth means? So a fourth means one quarter of a foot, right? So that would mean that Oh, look at Sam. She's behind the wheel with the camper. <laughs> Are you scared? I, I don't like it. Well, I don't like it either. You get used to it. I don't want to. I'm the navigator, not Ooh. the... <laughs> Simmer down now. Slow down, Sam. I'm going 28 miles an hour. Well, you feel the road. You don't just drive the speed limit. 